Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we're going to cover a fundamental aspect of Windows networking, opening a port in the Windows firewall. Whether you're a gamer looking to improve your online multiplayer experience or a tech enthusiast trying to set up a server, understanding how to open ports is crucial. So, let's dive right in. It's crucial to note that while opening ports can be necessary for certain functionalities, it also introduces potential security risks. Leaving unnecessary ports open can expose your computer to unauthorized access and attacks. Therefore, it's essential to only open ports that are explicitly needed for the services you are using and to follow best security practices. Always be mindful of the potential security implications when configuring your firewall settings. Before we get started, make sure you are logged in with administrative privileges to make the necessary changes to the Windows firewall. Now, let's proceed with the step-by-step -step guide. The first step is to open the Windows Firewall settings. To do this, in the search bar, type Firewall and select Windows Defender Firewall from the search results. Once the Windows Defender Firewall window is open, you'll see options on the left. Click on Advanced Settings to access the Advanced Firewall settings. In the Advanced Settings, you'll find Inbound Rules and Outbound Rules. In the context of a Windows Firewall, both Inbound Rules and Outbound Rules are configurations that control how traffic is allowed or blocked on your computer's network connections. Inbound Rules are rules that control the traffic coming into your computer from the network or the Internet. The rules are crucial for protecting your computer from unauthorized access or potential security threats. They specify which incoming connections are allowed and which ones should be blocked. Outbound rules are rules that control the traffic leaving your computer and heading towards the network or the internet. These rules help manage and control the types of connections your applications and services can establish with external servers or devices. This is useful for preventing malicious software from communicating with external servers without your knowledge. Now, let's create a new inbound rule to open a port. On the right pane, click on New Rule. This will open the new inbound rule wizard. Here, you can choose the rule type. Since we're opening a port, select Port and click Next. In this step, you'll specify the port you want to open. You can choose between TCP and UDP protocols, or both. Enter the specific port number and click Next. Make sure to double-check the port number to avoid any errors. Now, you'll choose what action to take for the specified port. Select Allow the connection and click Next. In the next step, choose when the rule applies. Generally, it's a good idea to keep all three options domain, private, public selected unless you have specific requirements. Click Next. These profile settings determine when the port is accessible based on your network location. Finally, give your rule a name and, if you want, a description. Click Finish to apply the rule. And there you have it. You've successfully opened a port in the Windows Firewall. Your new rule will now be visible in the Inbound Rules list. You can double-click on the rule to check out more settings you can configure. If you want to create an outbound rule the process is the same. When you have an antivirus program with a firewall feature, the process of opening a port may vary depending on the specific antivirus software you are using. Antivirus firewalls often work in conjunction with the built-in Windows firewall, and you may need to configure the settings in both to allow traffic through the desired port. Some antivirus programs have a user-friendly interface that simplifies the process of adding firewall rules. Look for options like Allow an app or Add a rule. If you encounter difficulties or if the steps vary significantly based on your antivirus software, refer to the antivirus program's documentation or support resources for specific instructions. That concludes our step-by-step -step guide on how to open a port in the Windows Firewall. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials, and hit the bell icon to receive notifications. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.